Alright everybody, welcome to your favorite thing on this channel. That is the start of another video series, Bringing a Car Back from the Dead. You guys all know that guy, everybody has the friend that buys a project car, is super excited about it, blows the car all apart to restore it, and then it sits. They lose motivation, they run out of money, they lose room, storage, whatever the reason is. You guys know that person, everybody has that friend. and. You always wonder what happens to the car after it's sold. Because we know the person gets tired of it, loses interest, and then basically just sells it to get their garage back. But what happens to those cars? Well, I got my hands on one, and it's actually a little farther taken apart than what you would normally find. Let me just go ahead and show you guys the clip. And here she is. So. Definitely has an amateur paint job. Basically the story that I got is that the exterior and the interior were all stripped for paint. They stripped it, they painted it, it sat, it sat, it sat, all the pieces were lost. And this is what's left. So as you can see there's no emblems, there's no marker lights, there's no side trim, there's no door keys, there's no door handles, there's no windows, there's no rear marker lights, there's no emblems, there's no gas cap. If you look inside, Got some Bubba seats. There's no door panels. There's no dash. There's no upper trim, really, to speak of. But the cool part about it is that it does have a motor and a transmission. So it is a complete car still. I, in my parts dash, have almost everything that this car needs to go back together. And that's the best part about it. So hopefully it won't cost too much. There's a lot of stuff on C3s that sell really quickly, and there's other stuff that kind of sits. And what this car is missing is stuff that sits. Let's see if I can get the hood open with this bow cable or not. I even have the grill for the hood. So here's the engine, air cleaners inside. So this is a later model Chevy V8. At least I, I believe it's a 350, not sure. The reason why is because it has center bolt uh, valve covers on the heads. So if anything, the heads are newer. But looking at the stamp pad right there, you can tell it's not original to the car. Don't really care. Why? Because the car used to be red, and now it's silver. So it's all good. Anyway, when I bought it, the guy said it ran and drove. I got there and didn't do either. So he b knocked a bunch of money off the, off the price of the car. So the first thing I need to do is get the thing to go. Right now you turn the key with a hot battery and you get absolutely nothing. So I think there's a wiring or a steering column issue. That's the first thing I gotta do to figure out. But I mean, look at these goofy seats. And you look in the back, I mean, that's really it. Nothing else in it. Yep, and that's it. So, can you say challenge? Yes. Can you say huge project? Of course. Can you say it needs a lot of parts? Yep, but guess what? I got most of them, so no big deal. Now, something interesting that I want you guys to know on this project is that I'm going to do it a little bit different than what I've done in the past. It's really easy to get a project like this, open up the Corvette parts catalog, order everything you need, and boom, get it shipped to you all brand new and put it in, but that's not what I'm going to do, for two reasons. One, most guys like me, I don't got money for that. You can spend like two grand just on interior alone on one of these cars. The second reason is, that's boring. Who wants to see somebody order off of a catalog and put brand new parts on a car? That's not entertaining at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all used parts on this car. You guys might think, oh, he's going to cut corners. No, don't worry. For the brakes and the mechanical stuff, that stuff is going to be new, but I'm going to focus mainly on the interior. That I want to show that you can get a decent driver quality interior without spending a huge amount of money. So that's what I'm going to do. I've parted out quite a few C3 Corvettes in order to pay for school and you know afford all the cars that I have and there's a lot of leftovers and the great part about this car is that it needs a lot of the parts that I already have. I have about 80-85% of the parts that this car needs I already have just sitting in my parts room. So that we're going to exploit that, we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, basically make used parts and make them nice again and then, you know, have a decent car because, you know, the Concourse, Barrett Jackson award winning cars, 
it's not really for everybody and I don't feel like spending you know thousands and thousands of dollars on this car maybe another car but not this one so yes that's the newest project that will be on this channel uh, if you follow me on Instagram you've noticed that a lot of my weekends have been taken up doing uh, renovations on my house I'm hoping here soon the next couple of months that will kind of taper down a little bit because you have the list of stuff that needs to be done with you know versus the stuff that you kind of want to do so hopefully I'll get back into uh, making more videos on this car soon yes I do still have the Maroon 77 another video on that one will be coming out fairly soon if you've missed that video series make sure you click on the playlist tab on my channel to see all the cars that I've ever worked on a lot of people they just you know view one playlist but they don't realize that on my channel I have like 30 other cars as you can see me work on so I appreciate you guys watching this video there will be more coming I can't you know guarantee when they're gonna happen but they will happen so thanks for watching and enjoy